I am going to do a topic now that you didn't expect, and uh, but it's very close to my heart, and it's not sort of on the running order and everything, but I think oh, we here can we go. react to it. In the middle theatre tonight in Dundrum, uh, Thursday, yesterday, Friday tonight, and Saturday, is Mary Kenny's play called Allegiance. Churchill versus Collins, 1921. Do you know anything about that, do you? Well, I do, because... Good, um, good. Because Tell we me. Because uh, we actually did a little bit of it on the Sunday show last right. Sunday. I know you're an avid listener to the Sunday show, George. Right. Um, it's, and it's, and we played a little clip of it, and it, it sounds really, really good. And it's... I, I'd forgotten about this. Basically, what happened was Collins and Churchill in the treaty negotiations didn't get on at all. Uh, right. You can imagine uh, how the antipathy that Churchill would have towards Collins, and probably vice vice versa. Anyway, somebody, a mutual friend, I can't remember who it was, suggested that they get together over a drink and just have a chat. That they might sort of ease out, right. out some of the argument. Lady Lavery. Was well, Lady Lavery? That's who it was, of course. Yeah. Now, as to how much of a mutual friend she was, yeah, Collins, okay, anyway, yeah, we won't go there. Um, but anyway, so they had a, a number of drinks, uh, a, a lot of drinks, I think, in Churchill's um, London residence in some very salubrious part of London. And a conversation flowed and they actually got on quite well over a period of time. And this play effectively recreates that night and the conversation between the two. And it sounds absolutely brilliant. Give the date down again there, George. Please. Tonight and tomorrow at the okay. Mill, M-I-L-L, Mill Theatre in Dundrum. That'd yeah, it's a father and son to to, uh, acting team who are... The father is playing Churchill, the son is playing uh, Michael Collins. Because there wouldn't be much knowledge out there, even with, you know, historians who are regular Irish people who would have a lot of interest in the Second World War. And obviously we've heard so much about the role of Churchill in the Second World War. We wouldn't know anything about his career really prior to that. I mean, his involvement in those talks... Well, he was a relatively... He, was, he wasn't one of the more senior um, negotiators for... Yeah, for although it's fair to say, uh, with Dave McIntyre's tenuous grasp of history, we wouldn't expect you, Dave, to know much about Churchill. That's well, true. I've, I, it's tenuous grasp of history maybe for that time in Churchill's specific involvement we did study all of that for our leaving search George and I would have pretty much read every book and watched every uh, movie slash documentary there's, there's on a the brilliant he, yeah. he was Head of the the the, the admiralty, admiralty yeah. in World War One. Well, he, didn't he? He lost the gig after Gallipoli. Gallipoli he he took the he took he the fall for Gallipoli. Few, he was blamed for the loss of thousands of lives, wasn't yeah, he? There, he was, yeah. 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 And was by the time of the Second World War came along, he was something of an outcast and uh, oh, almost much, yeah. almost a figure of fun in some absolute some as a drunk, which he probably was. Uh, yeah, it's probably. quite interesting this conversation. Of course, there's a conversation going on here in Collins versus Churchill between the drunk and the virgin. Because it is now, I think, historically proven that Collins died a virgin. I don't know how anyone could prove how, that. How is it historically proven? No, a, a number of histo historians. There's including... only one way to do that, and I don't think that's happened. I, I wouldn't have thought so. Well, I just threw it out there. Well, because... dear, dear Ferder has made this argument, and, and yes, like there is, there is, it, yeah. it is a plausible argument. He he feels he probably did die a virgin because of. Because basically of the mores of the time. I would say most men, in, in unmarried men in 1920s were virgins. Certainly Irish Catholic men. Yeah. I, I, think I mean, Irish Catholic men in my time were virgins. To mind Michael Collins. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very possible, but I, I'm not quite sure how... Most Irish men of my generation were virgins until they got married. Yeah. And the primary purpose for getting married <laughs> was, was to, to lose your virginity. Yeah, it was a rather... Um ill-judged and ill-thought-out theory, I would have thought. What? You, well, you, I guess you learned... Well, it was a very well-judged theory. Well, you did, you nowadays, did you nowadays you'd feel, well, the day you get married, maybe it's, it goes in the, <laughs> the other direction. And the, the, the point also is, I'm not sure... How do we get from colours to this? What, what the women were told, but certainly Victorian women were told like, by their mothers, like, this is going to be awful, you know, and uh, you're just going to have to suffer. And, and there was that great phrase, uh, lie back and think of England. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how exaggerated that was, to, to be honest. I don't think so. I remember asking my mother about that, and she said, "Ah, you know, we, were, you we weren't that we weren't that wet behind the ears. Now, you know, we didn't think." But um, well, I was wet behind the ears. 
Anyway, to get back to Churchill and Collins, there's a great drama um, called The Treaty, Dave, which you should definitely I've seen check it. out. Yeah, yes. it's absolutely. Yeah. The, the, the TV. Yeah, yeah TV yeah. drama, which RT did about probably 20, it's probably 20 years ago <coughs> yes. since they did it. Your man, Barry McGovern, was in this, wasn't he? Yeah, but isn't um, Collins is played by. Ireland's kind of leading actor now. What's his name? Brendan. Brendan Gleeson. Yeah. yeah. And he does a brilliant, brilliant job playing Brendan Gleeson. Barry McGovern was in it, yeah. Um, but and it's Dev. It, uh, playing Dev, I presume, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but it's definitely worth seeing. OK. That was just a sort of... Uh, I went off on a bit of a tangent. Hey. Allegiance by Irish journalist Mary Kenny will be performed at the Mill Theatre Dundrum from Thursday the 19th to Saturday the 21st of September. It's a father and son team who play the parts of Winston Churchill and Michael Collins. The big fellow and the British bulldog who had publicly despised one another met privately once in 1921. We offer you a ringside seat for this night that changed history, full of passion, laughter and sadness. That's the Mill Theatre Dundrum from Thursday the 19th to Saturday the 21st of September.